Hi, my name is Anya Erden from Chagas and McCroom. And my name is Anthony Benin, also from Chagas and McCroom. And together we coordinate the McCroom Beef Grass Tin course. We have two host farmers in the course. The first farmer is east of McCroom, that is suckler farming. And the second farmer is west of McCroom, who is a heifer finishing beef system. We have put, we have put together two videos uh, outlining both farmers' system of production. Um, we've also gone through what both farmers have learned uh, over the last year and a half in this class 10 beef course. Uh, Tommy Murphy is my name. I'm from Fernands in Cork. Uh, I farm 70 acres here. I have um, uh, 25 suckler cows from a commercial herd here. I run them with a Solaire bull um, and I finish the, some of the calves get finished to a uh, factory where some of them get taken and sold at stores. I'm a member of the McCroom Beef Grass 10 course. I'm a host farmer. Uh, we meet monthly to review grass management. I walk this farm every Sunday and, and with the pasture based soil and mobile app I input all the figures in uh, to determine what stage of grass growth is on the farm and based on the information that comes back to me on the app I make my decisions on uh, grass growth and where to move cattle to, what, silage, what fields to cut for silage. By walking the, uh, the farm every Sunday uh, it has afforded me the opportunity to grow better grass, grow more grass, have my cattle move into better quality grass and to spot earlier uh, deficiencies and surpluses in grass. In this paddock here we have a, a cover of eight to 900 kilograms of dry matter per hectare and the intention is to be grazing this within the week. So what we have here is a paddock that has gone too strong um, so I'm going to uh, cut it for silage, make round bales of it. Uh, it's gone too strong, the quality isn't good enough for, for the cattle. They like to keep uh, better quality grass ahead of the cattle. I am a host farm for the McCroom Beef Grass Tin course and we meet monthly and we would meet on my farm every second month. When the group would arrive, we would normally have the grass cover taken previous to the meeting and we would walk most of the farm and look at the covers on the paddocks and make a decision if paddocks are going too strong, what would be done with those paddocks and if they were to be taken out, when, when would they be taken out for, for bales. The Grass 10 course introduced us to the idea that we are grass farmers, not beef farmers. We grow grass, that's our job, to feed it to the cattle. It's all about changing the mindset to grow the best quality grass that we can and then utilize it in the best way at the best time. That might be either grazing it or baling it as surplus bales. We did a grass measure today and there is a cover of 1100 in this paddock and the cattle will be coming in here in three days time. Here behind me there is a, we have a paddock that has a cover of two and a half thousand kgs of dry matter per hectare which is way too strong for the dry stock I have on the farm and we, as a result we have a decision made to take this out as surplus bales in the next few days. Behind me here we have a batch of mainly Hereford and Angus heifers that we bought in recently at roughly 300-320 kgs. The strongest of them will be finished out of the house next January, February and the lighter ones will be put out to grass next year and finished off grass next summer. We moved the cattle every three to four days and they left this paddock this morning. There's a nice cover of clover in this paddock. I am a fan of clover. I like it in the, for my system of beef farming and I will try and incorporate it into my receding plan going forward, especially for the drier fields on the farm. With the grass tin course, we have the input of more than what we call 12 grass managers on our farm so that we Kiron, Edon, Maura, Diarmuid and myself are not making decisions on our own but based on the experience and the contributions of those people on the course.